I do with this uh, circle is I roll it on the canvas before I get started. Just like that, that helps to get the edges nice and smooth. And then we're gonna put it on our slab. Now notice right here that I have not put the circle right to the edge, okay? I've moved it over about a quarter to three eighths of an inch. And so that when I roll my slab around the circle, just like so, I am creating a foot on the bottom of our mug. You can see on this one, this is the foot that I made on the bottom of hers, okay? It's very important because you can see over time, this is getting more worn looking, it's getting a little moldy here and there, but all this glazed area is still nice and clean, okay? And she's got a couple little chips here and there from being in the cabinet and being used. We can touch those up and fire it again. Are you ready? Okay, now, Eve, we've got our cylinder rolled all the way around our circle. So now I need you to cut that piece off. This one? Yep, go ahead. Like a pro. Good job, sweetie. All right, now, we don't need this piece either, so it goes back in our bag. Okay, so now at this point, you can see my cylinder is wrapped around the circle. Okay, um, it is not really joined together. It's just sitting there. So we need to take our wooden knife and work the inside together like this. And we're gonna work this part together down here. I hope you can see this. Mom, it's a ball. Now, listen, a lot of people like to, like they, they throw a hissy fit about how they can't get the bottom nice and smooth. Okay, do the best you can. Work at it nice and slow. You can also use a wet paintbrush to smooth it out some, but there's there's no need for it to be absolutely perfect, okay? All that really matters is that all these pieces are joined together real well so that they don't leak any fluids. Then we're gonna join the bottom to our sides like this. You wanna do this, Eve? Mm -hmm. Okay, here you go. So just work that edge together. That's good, stab a hole in the bottom. <laughs> Just like this. There we go. Okay. Now from here, when we're all the way done, we've got all the pieces joined together. Then that's when we wanna bring out our metal rib, or a wooden rib and just work the side like this. So it's nice and smooth this and really clean. Is this the thing that I made by myself, but sure, I just made it. What is that? It's a ball. A ball? And you can roll it like that and then spin it. Oh, that's nice. And then you can make it slide down with it. <laughs> okay, now this part where it's joined together, this is where I usually put the handle. Handles come in all different shapes and sizes, and it's really what's going to make your cup unique from anybody else's. So think about the ergonomity of it, the, the comfort level that you want to have in there, in your hand when you're holding it. Uh, think about who's going to be using it. Uh, you know, if this is for a guy or a girl or your mom or dad or who it is that you want to use this mug, okay? Now, one of the ways I like to do it is I'll roll out a really thick coil like this. You gonna make a handle too? Mm -hmm. There you go. So we're gonna roll out our handle. How old are you? Two. Yeah. Two. Okay. Cool. Yeah, my two-year-old is rolling out a coil. Yeah, you better be able to do it too. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Let's use your handle. Okay. Now. When you're attaching your handle, the best thing to do is to cut the end off so that it's nice and flat, just like so. And then I'll take my finger and actually round the edges off. I always put it where this joint is. I work this together, of course, so it's nice and smooth. But just in case anyone can tell the difference between an area that was joined together and wasn't joined together, I always put the handle here to disguise it a little bit more, okay? All right, so we're gonna put our rounded end down here at the bottom. And then we're gonna work this together. A hole in this. That's a good point though, Eve. You can put a hole in the side of your cup and slide the handle in there if you want, and that'll help to make it stronger. Then we're just gonna bend this up, like so. 
Oh, and press it on, okay? And then I'll work that edge together as well. Now from there, this cup is really heavy. It's really thick. So we're gonna need to take some clay off. So if you'll write your name on the side, like I did with this one, and then relief the background off, which you already know how to do using a loop tool, then that'll help you a tremendous amount to cut down on the weight, okay? So think about that as you're going along. I chose to put a dinosaur on here for her because she likes dinosaurs, but you can put something else that you enjoy as well. So that's how you make just a very simple cylinder mug, all right? What do you think, Eve? Does it look pretty good? Does it look good? Yeah? You want to drink out of this?